Islam has been going on since 2010 as something that was just brought to create something in Laredo. People needed a funnel to create, people needed a place to go to speak, to bring their own vibe and their own ideas to life. The format of SLAM is three minute poems uh, that are your own original composition, but the format of SLAM is spoken word, so it's, it is poetry that is meant to be spoken and not just read on a page. We are a nonprofit organization that supports creativity, freedom of speech, uh, just writing, and not only that, but it also allows people to build their own self-esteem and learn communication skills and public speaking through the performance of their own literary work. Mi amor, si los besos de pasión que te doy se notaran, imagínate cómo llevarías la espalda todita pintada y los de abajo de la cintura, en especial muy cerquitas del ombligo. Discúlpenme todos ustedes, pero como soy un caballero, eso no se los digo. Es que esos besos ya no son lo mismo. No son besos de amor, de ternura, ni de cariño. Esos besos son de pasión, son de locura, son de erotismo. Yo creo que esto de, de escribir, de expresar tus sentimientos, ya, ya nace uno con eso en el chip. Este, nomás es darte la libertad de, de compartirlo. Como yo les digo a ellos, yo no vengo a competir, vengo a compartir lo que a mí me apasiona. They become like a family, they become like this group of friends that you look forward to seeing every second and fourth Thursday of the month, every time, every time, every time. And I try my best not to miss, because it's just that much fun and you want to see what these people are going to say. It is sport, it is entertainment, it is athleticism in its purest form. It is pure fucking drama. It's theatrical thrashing. It's death-defying action and acrobatics. Nail-biting suspense featuring imaginative characters with infinite charisma. Machines with mucho machismo. Women warriors with will and wit. They are performers with personality, performing choreographed chaos. Painting a light blue 20 by 20 canvas with their blood, sweat, and tears. And it's immediately judged by spectators who truly appreciate the spectacle. Other sports may require the same passion that the athletes possess, but nowhere else in the world can you witness the pure, natural theatrics and excitement that is professional wrestling. It's like uh, Axel said before, it's better than therapy. So, um, yeah, like I, I had, um, you know, there were, there were times where I didn't know how to express myself, so I would keep a lot of, stored, a lot of stuff stored in, and I wouldn't go to therapy, so I would turn, I've turned to drugs before, and that was like a huge problem for me for a long time. And the audience is also a big part of it. It's not just about the poets that come and recite their work, but the audience that come here, comes to hear it, the participation of it, that they too become part of the community. This poem is about love and tacos. Tacos, you say? They are the perfect metaphor for that messy, tasty, disorganized, misshapen, savory, unpredictable, greasy, healthy, spicy, squishy, fleshy mix of ingredients that we stuff into that outer shell of hot, corny, flowery, soft, hard-folded, and ultimately devoured holder of all our dreams, hopes, and expectations. One of my best friends, Pepe, had been doing it for years and he'd been going to like the youth poetry thing and stuff like that. And he would tell me all the time, he'd be like, dude, you need to go. You need to see this. You need to try this. Like, I know you, dude. I know you'll like these people. I know it. And I just did the real Laredo thing. I'm just like. <sighs> but opinions can divide us and so can threats. See, if our walls were transparent, we'd have way fewer regrets. Be free to look at somebody with pride in your chest, but mean them absolutely no harm, just a smile and your best, have a good day. It can happen, loveys, believe me, I've seen it. It's beautiful and peaceful and so, so fucking legit to feel pride in yourself and all of your shit while giving dignity to all of those around it. We can do this, folks. Walls down, no more big fights. Life, liberty, dignity, and the pursuit of happiness is right. May God bless you all with it tonight and all nights and for your future days spent in his fair life. Sí he visto una revolución aquí en Laredo, Texas, de un movimiento cultural 
eh, que se ha, estado viniendo, se ha estado viniendo desarrollando gracias a todas estas personas que han tenido el valor de hacerlo. It was on the streets of Laredo that I met my best friends and 15 years later they still walk these streets with me. The streets of Laredo have laws by which we must abide and it's on these streets that this dude does reside. On the streets of Laredo I was born and raised and it's on these streets that I just might sit there. Porque yo soy güerito, yo soy tejano y yo soy un caballero de las calles. Pero lo que es más importante, yo soy de la pinche Laredo hombre. And I wouldn't want to be from anywhere else. So if you have something bad to say about my hometown, It's in the streets of Laredo that we dare to say, chinga tu putisima madre away. You can shoot words and they have the same conviction as bullets as you can't bring them back once they're out. But they hurt a whole lot less. Sometimes they hurt a whole lot more. The thing about words is it's not the shooter that decides whether it misses or hits. It's the target. We are a mix of a diversity of a crowd and that is who we have become is this melting pot that the U.S. always wanted to be literally lives in the ring. Order! Slam! Keep it hot!